no one likes needles. And so if you can spare patients the needle in drug delivery, your company will perhaps have a successful product. Particularly in needle-free delivery, there's strong and promising revenue growth and coming along with that, a host of competitors and possible new entrants. These systems are particularly useful for the elderly and the age of the population is driving sales of new ways to deliver vaccines particularly but also other medications. Uh, can we do it uh, avoiding a needle that particularly with a patient, an elderly patient, that is going to see a lot of injections one after another. Eventually that's going to take its toll and so Clever pharmaceutical companies with their device partners are finding ways to develop these systems and our report identifies those efforts, how much opportunity there is out there for new entrants and what it will look like in the next five years. An important consideration that we found in this market that's driving it is the desire of pharmaceutical companies to get more patent life out of their product. Sometimes, if you can figure out a way to deliver a drug differently, you can extend patent protection. And many clever pharmaceutical companies have engaged in this strategy. We talk about some of those approaches in Calorama Information's report. We break out the market for systems by product type. So we'll have needle-free and we'll have those that are delivering drugs through an implant, uh, sometimes on the patient's arm or elsewhere, that delivers the drug slowly into the patient's uh, blood system or tissues. We also delineate the market in terms of the drug products and the device-only revenue coming from that drug product. You might be a device company that's interesting in partnering with a pharma company, but do not have a drug product that's licensed for uh, you to manufacture on your own. You want to find partners. Our report can help, and it can also give you a reasonable estimate of the opportunity that you may face in the next five years. Watch biologics and watch vaccines. Uh, it's very common for vaccines to be delivered through needle-free delivery mechanisms. And one of the great things about some of these needle-free uh, systems is that they're workhorses. You can do, in some cases, as a provider, 150 patients a day with them. And so they're very good for vaccines because providers, retail outlets, government agencies are seeing a lot of adults and children coming to their door for vaccines now, particularly the influenza vaccine and not everyone not everyone wants that delivered through a needle uh, quite obviously so devices that can spare the patient that are are going to be an interesting trend to watch a particular challenge for this market and one that companies will need to address that we found in our analysis is the cost of these systems they cost more than standard injections and so the industry has to do a better job of reducing that cost per injection to make it beneficial to healthcare providers. That's something that if it happens and if the technology can get there and if the manufacturers can make it cheaper, that we'll see explosive growth again in this market.